Hi there, Commander Davis, and this is just a quick video to go with a section I'm putting up on my website about using the CH products Fighter Stick and Throttle for a hothouse with Elite Dangerous. I'm um, currently on Premium Beta 202. Uh, I've been playing around with this setup since the first alpha. There's a couple of things that uh, uh, have been quite annoying while, while playing, the first of which is that the throttle doesn't have a detent at zero, which means that when you're trying to uh, dock, especially when you're trying to take off, it can be quite difficult to work out whether your ship's going to be stationary, or whether you're going to shoot forwards or, or backwards. Um, you can take a rough guess at where the throttle should be set, but it's not great. So the first thing I've done is to actually use the throttle on the stick, which I never use. Um, it's a little wheel that looks very much like the trim buttons on the, uh, on the, the other two axes. And I've set that using the CMS scripting to literally just turn off the throttle on the uh, on the, the, the throttle device. Um, that then allows me, using the mappings that Elite gives, to use a digital input for forwards and backwards. And in fact, with the undercarriage down, I've got all of the axes mapped to digital buttons, uh, as well as a lot of them mapped to analog ones. So if we start off with launch, and I'm using the hat switch on the throttle to navigate these menus, and the left-hand button on the throttle as an OK. So the analog throttle is currently disengaged, which means I know that as, as I'm launched, there Ship we are. Released. Engines engaged. I'm going to be travelling at uh, zero in the forward direction. Uh, thumbstick has always set up to uh, lateral and vertical. So it just means we do the thumbstick to get ourselves aligned with the door. And then when we're reasonably happy, we can turn the analog throttle on and start exiting the space station. Now, I've still got my gear down, so I've got digital controls for everything. Which can make fine adjustments nice and easy. Turn the gear off. A, we speed up, and B, it reconfigures the joysticks on the flight. Power control I've set up with the uh, Ford hat switch on the, uh, or Ford four-way switch, should I say, on the throttle. Fords for engines, backwards to even everything out, left systems, right for weapons, which is fairly intuitive. Lack of deton isn't so much a problem when you're flying around as I tend to just fly using the speed indicator. One thing I have mapped, just in case, the forward, uh, is a button to head backwards. It should be quite useful if you're heading towards the station and for some reason it disappears or shifts on you. Or if you're going to collide with something, you can just quickly shoot backwards, get some distance, and then head forward again. Now I found that uh, while in supercruise it can be a little annoying to keep everything lined up, so I actually use digital controls just to your left and right, pitch up and down. And I've got that pitch reversed because when you're playing the Super Cruise minigame, you're basically trying to keep something in the centre of the screen. It seems to make more sense to me to have it reversed. Right. So because I've got digital setups for your when I've got roll on the joystick, I've actually got access to all axes. But occasionally it's nice to have a joystick set up with your so press the button and we can change the axes. That's actually done in game now so it doesn't require any CMS scripting. Back to roll. And I don't use it too much but I do have a setup for headlock so the hat switch on the joystick which I normally use for pitch and your can be mapped down and give you headlock should you need it. various shift controls I've got set up on the joystick, there are secondary controls that allow me to have your on-button mapping. 
but I figure that's not a problem, given that you're not really going to want to target stuff while you're talking. And you'll notice that the station just moved, which is why it's quite useful to have a, uh, a reverse. So try and get... Uh, reverse granted. So, using all of the axes, both digital and analog, we'll get ourselves in a bit of mess of that. Full access available to the joystick mapping for people who've got this set up. Um, there's also some PDFs that show you the button mappings for various modes. So there's the normal mode, there's a shift mode that I use, and also the docking mode. Um, and you can get those at my website, which is at domdavis.com. So that's D-O-M-D-A-V-I-S.com. Um, see you around. <laughs> 